Hey you guys. All right. So <clears throat> I wanted to make you a video really quickly today to help you and by showing you how I plan for my week as far as my social media content, what I'm putting out there, what I'm inviting to, how I really take control um, of my business. And this is so important. Whether you are a brand new coach, whether you've been a coach for a year or for four years, you can start doing this now. And I want to share some of my best tips with you, okay? Um, because honestly, just like if we want to see results in our health and fitness, if we want to get results, we have to, we have to do the workouts, right? We have to make the meal plan. We have to do the prep work. We have to be intentional about those things and this business is no different all right so today is Sunday I am actually at home y'all I have not felt great I have not felt great for like a week and I'm battling this ear stuff and this head stuff um, so I'm making this video while my family is at church and I really 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 hope that it helps you uh, but I discovered a super super great resource recently and it's called plan I posted about it this last week in our team page um, and I encourage you guys to check it out so before this, I had been using Planoly to actually plan my social media content. And both are just, I'm going to share my screen with you guys really quickly. Both are just services that you can actually like plan out your social media content, um, that you can write up your posts, you can save your images, and you can actually know what you're going to post for the next week or however far ahead you want to plan it out. Now, uh, Planoly just really let me actually like gather my information, just gather my images and to um, put them into the app. Now Plan takes it like 15 steps further. Like this app is absolutely blowing me away. You can start with the free version um, that will let you upload a certain number of images to your um, Plan app. So as you can see, this is just showing me my, I didn't start it until this last week, so it only goes back to a certain uh, post, but it's showing me my Instagram feed. All right. And so that's what I have already posted. Now this that you see up here is see with the little gray boxes, arrows beside it is the content that I have not posted that I'm actually planning. And so what plan will allow you to do, I did upgrade to the $10 service. There's like a $5 a month service. There's a $10 and it goes farther up, but I don't need more than this. So what it allows you to do is it allows you to plan your strategies. So plan gives you these top things. So in our posts every single week, I love to teach you guys that we are not just here to ask, are we? We are here to give, 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 um, and then ask people to join us, ask people to join our team, our challenge groups. And so I try to plan it with a give, give, ask type of strategy. I'm giving encouragement, I'm giving motivation, I'm giving inspiration, I'm educating in some way through a post, and then I ask, right? And so what I've done is I've just taken these plan top themes and I've plugged those in and I've also created my own custom ones for me to follow so that as I'm mapping out my posts for the week, I can know um, on this day, I want to post a testimonial. I want to post a quote. Then I want to ask. I want to do a workout um, invite. I want to do a business invite. I want to do a mom life post. And so I've just created those custom um, themes for my posts and I've plugged those in to my um, social media plan for the week. So as you can see, um, my first one, like on Monday, I'm gonna do a workout motivation. Tomorrow night, sometime tomorrow, I'm gonna do a business invite because I'm posting a um, sneak peek. I'm posting a sneak peek into coaching Wednesday and Thursday. You guys are welcome to invite to that. After that, I have planned to do a post about community. I will talk about our team. I'll talk about our challenge group or something in that way. Tuesday is two, uh, Transformation Tuesday. So I will do a, a Transformation Tuesday post and invite probably to Transform 20. Uh, this one, I already have the picture and it's just inspiration. I just plugged the picture in there because I took some this weekend. Again, that's another tip, you guys. Like, don't wait to come up with your content when you need to come up with it. Like, take some pictures, change sports bras, change shirts. Um, Go outside, go inside. 
like take a bunch of different pictures and just then find the ones that you like and edit them and upload them to your app so you already have the picture ready to go because honestly how often is that the most time consuming thing that we spend we waste a lot of time on is actually getting a great picture when if you have an hour on Saturday you can have your kid or your husband follow you around and just take some different pictures that you can use throughout the week okay and so that's what I did with that picture um, my next post will be a behind the scenes post um, that could be something like showing people um, showing people my my Lumi light or my my ring light or it could be you know like me mailing out uh, letters to people who join my challenge groups or women who join my coaching team um, it could be like a picture of me sitting in my chair on my phone saying this is how you know like yes I work for my computer but a lot of the times when I'm answering you people um, I'm sitting here in this cozy chair with my phone in my hand and I am working my business okay that's a behind the scenes type of post it's really important for people to not just see us posting selfies see us hitting success on see us getting results but actually to show people invite people into our life and give them a look at what it looks like to actually be a coach to run a business whether you're running a business from your car on your lunch break or while you take your after you drop your kids off at school or whether you stay up late, you know, after your kids go to bed to actually make time for your business, it's important that people see what we do, how we make it work, and so that, you know, people don't come into this business with the expectation that it doesn't take a lot of work, because it does. And if we're giving people a look behind the scenes into coach life, then that attracts the people who are willing to do that work. That is a huge tip, you guys, okay? Um, the next one was a quote. So I just put that picture there with a quote. I actually probably will change that and do like a white quote, which is like a, you know, white image with, um, with just words on the, on the image. So that, cause a lot of people respond to those. I get really good engagement with those when I post those on Instagram. And so as you can see, I just have a roadmap. It is simply a roadmap for what I am going to post next week. So the two things I'm inviting to are Transform 20 because I'm doing it myself. I'm going to invite to coaching because I'm doing a coaching sneak peek and you guys can invite to that too. Um, and so this just gives me actually like content that I want to post. I won't write every single post for the entire week, but I do know that when it's time to post, I like to post twice a day, um, that I'm going to plug into these and these just give me ideas or starting points to actually do that. All right. Um, it will also plan will actually tell you which posts do the best. So whenever you're like, okay, what do I need to put more out there? What do I need to put out there? Like I told you guys, like I get the best response to these white quotes, what I call white quotes, where it's just, you know, some words on a white image. I get a lot of response. This one about laundry. I mean, like who knew? Like that was one of my highest performing posts that I've had in a long time. And it was because I was absolutely and completely like real. It was real mom life, real struggles. Like, you know, we got laundry piling up over here. Does anybody else or am I just alone? And so like, that's another tip. As you're planning out your week, as you're planning out your content, as you see here, I've plugged in some that say mom life. Um, so, so up there at the top left, like that's part of my brand. If you're not a mom, that's okay. Are you a dog mom? Are you crazy about dogs? Plan some dog posts, you guys. People who love dogs, love dogs and you will get high high engagement in those things okay so be very intentional about branding yourself about putting your content out there that your followers will connect with and and that is going to take you so much farther than just like saying okay I need to post a sweaty selfie today and and I'm gonna do that and boom I'm done no you've got to be intentional and in planning your content and planning your brand and and making you know actually taking some action before the actual posting takes takes place, right? So let's go back to my performance. Um, there, okay, this is something I love too. They will actually give you suggestions on what your palette, so your color palette is based on the post that you've been putting out there. Um, and so they have told me basically, I use a lot of browns, grays, blues, um, kind of blushes, and that is true. So like I can actually plan as I'm putting my content together for this next week to kind of um, make that more, more um, consistent 
that so I can use more blushes and blues and browns and, and sometimes reds uh, to create this consistent theme in my post so that whenever someone comes and they look at my social media feed, it's instantly recognizable, all right? Um, plan will also tell you when is the best time to post based on Instagram algorithms, based on your posts and content you put out there in the past and the ones that have done the best, they are going to give you suggestions on when you should actually post your content, which is amazing and takes so much guesswork out of it. All right. Um, and so now, like, as you can see, I've, if I write this post up, um, they can tell me, like, if I want to set a reminder, down there at the bottom to actually post it on such and such a day. They'll tell me right here, what is the best, if I'm gonna post it on Monday, Monday at 6 p.m. is the best time to post this, right? And so it will actually remind me to actually like, say, hey, it'll send me a reminder um, to post it on Monday at 6 o'clock p.m. And I will actually usually go in there and just type up my post before it's ready to post. So I'm not sitting there at 6 o'clock p.m. on a Monday night with my family on my phone. I've already got the content written up. And all I have to do is say po copy and paste to Instagram. And it will actually copy the words and we'll post it to Instagram. Boom. That is done, you guys. Like, so I am telling you, if you don't use this app, like you are making your life so much harder. You can actually even post stories in there too. Oops, I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, you can plan your story content. I have not gone there, but when I am planning out my week, you guys, each week I do plan what I'm going to do in stories. So for me personally, I invite people to something every single day in stories, all right? Um, I'm either inviting to a challenge group or to the coaching opportunity, but I'm doing it, I'm not doing it in a super salesy, hey, join the challenge group, buy a challenge pack kind of way. Every single day, I'm either telling my story or I'm telling the story of somebody in my challenge groups or on my team or another coach that I, you know, that I do this business with. I'm telling their story about how their life was changed through, through the workout programs, through the nutrition piece, through the coaching, the business opportunity. And I'm saying, hey, do you want to do this with me? Does this interest you? I'm putting polls in there. I am doing the little slidey bar option. So I'm planning my invite content and my stories as well when I make my roadmap for the week. Um, but it's also so, so important, you guys. We did a team call on this last time about being interested in other people in your stories. Instagram stories are hot. They are hot, hot, hot. And so like, if you are not taking advantage of the fact that people want to interact with you there, if you're not asking questions about other people, if you're not asking for advice, um, then you're really and truly missing out on some great opportunities to, to connect genuinely with the people who have chosen to come and to watch your stories and to be a part of your online community. All right, so that is something that I really wanna encourage you guys to do. And I'm going to show you just a couple more examples of that, even though we talked about it last week um, on our team call. So um, let's go back to my stories. If you go up here to that archive button in the top left under the time, it will pull up all of your old stories that you have posted. And, and it will shoot, I, can, I often go back, so there are some from this weekend that I have not gone back and engaged over. Um, so let's see, this one, the one that I did about this one, okay, about the lipstick. I did this, one, because yes, I was trying to make a decision, but two, I knew that my community really loves to give me advice. People love to tell me what they love, and so I asked for advice on this. I said, the boys wanted me to get some red lipstick for Christmas, which I don't do red, but which one of these do you like? And so when I click on the people who engaged with it, that were 28 people that gave me their opinion, okay? And so that is a big deal. I'm not just going to let that go and, and not acknowledge that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to KW and I'm gonna say, hey girl, thanks, oops. I'm actually not gonna send this today, but I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be part of my business plan for next week to go back and do this. Hey girl, um, thanks so much for the advice. I struggle with color and especially wearing anything on my lips. Oops, oops. But, but it helps to get your opinion. 
do my end it with a question because that keeps the conversation going. Do you wear lipstick every day? Okay, boom. And I can actually like copy that, um, copy it, send it, and just copy and paste it to everybody. Or I can choose to do a video. Um, it's easier when you actually message people from the poll because it sends them the poll and um you know to able to direct message them whereas if i was going to do a video i would have to get out of this and send one by one the message but i'm just going to do that to everybody and there are some new people in here that i've never connected with because also part of my daily power hour is that i'm adding and following people on instagram so i've got new eyes on my stuff right and so this is just a really simple simple way that i can actually connect with people who are interested in what i'm doing all right so this week as you're planning your social media content as you're planning your stories make sure that you're planning every single day opportunities for someone to engage with you so another example like when i did my that sweaty selfie yes i love to show people my workouts a couple of clips but i also like to talk about how i feel why I do it, right? Because people don't care that we work out. They want to know why we do it. Um, and it's individual. It's unique for each of us. So I said Friday fight, things I'm fighting for. And then I gave an opportunity for people to engage with me. I didn't ask them to join a group. I didn't ask them to do anything. I just said, what are you fighting for today? All right. So that's another thing that I did. And I'm just giving you guys some examples. Um, obviously, I did some stories on going on the success club trip. And I invited people through that, through these polls, and through by telling my story. Um, and so that's important. But I'd love to ask people, like, did you conquer your workout today? People love to vote in those types of things. Again, I'm not asking for them to do something. I will, without a doubt, I will. But I'm giving them so much opportunity to engage with me and to connect with me that it doesn't seem as awkward when I do put out an invite, okay? Um, I did one the other day on Paul, my Bible study that I was doing, and I asked people about how they felt about Paul, and that was a really good one. This was a good one. Um, the one about my planner, how early do you buy your planner? So again, I'm just showing interest in the people who are following me and giving them an opportunity to engage and to interact with me. Um, here was the one about Paul. Let's see. So I was sharing about my quiet time. And I just said, you know, basically it was like a fill in the blank. I love Paul because, and I got some really good responses from some people um, who, who responded to that. And it was a really good way to recognize the people who were following me. All right. So that may be a little overwhelming, but here are the basics. Okay. Plan out your content, your social media posts. You should be posting at least probably twice a day. And the content should be like give, give, ask. So it can be a quote, it can be a motivational, it can be an invite, it can be a funny, it can be a white quote, it can be a quote about being a mom, and then it can be an invite. Um, it can be about community, it can be a testimonial, and then an invite. So that's your social media post. When you're playing, and again, too, just like I'm saying, be interested in people in your stories, be interested in people in your posts, ask questions about daily life. You know, and I did that post about the laundry. It was popular because I asked a question and I gave people an opportunity to engage with me. All right. Um, so that also in your stories, you should definitely be sharing a testimonial. That's the whole recognition piece of the four vital behaviors every day. Recognize other people. Um, do your four vital behaviors in your stories. Be proof that the products work. Show people your workouts. Don't give the whole workout away. Just do one or two clips. Tell people how you feel before and after and give people an opportunity to engage around fitness. Put your shake in your stories. You don't have to say, this is my shakeology. I actually encourage you not to. But if people see that in your stories or in your life, they're not going to be as like weirded out when you ask them to invest in it themselves because they know you're doing it. Um, invite people in your stories, like I said, to the coaching opportunity, to challenge groups. Give people an opportunity to engage with you. Be interested in other people. And definitely be sprinkling in just that normal, everyday, this is my crazy life. Um, you know, these are my crazy kids. This is what I struggle with. This is what I, how I won today. Um, you know, just all 
kinds of different things. And you don't have to post like 50 stories a day. I think like 10 to 20 is a really good balance of stories and they can just be really, really like fly, on the fly, like off the cuff, but just do kind of plan out a strategy each day that what you're going to, to invite people to. All right. So I hope that really helps. Please, please, please promise me that you're going to download the plan app and use it to help just give you peace of mind to help you come up with a plan this week for your business and to, to really conquer this week. Because I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a little quiet. As we move into Christmas, it's going to be quiet, but that does not mean that we stop putting content out there. That actually means that we need to be even more consistent in what we're putting out there and giving people those opportunities to engage and letting people know that, Hey, I'm here. Like I'm not going anywhere. The whole other world may be eating like, you know, chocolate covered cherries and peanut butter balls and all that stuff. And I'm going to have mine, but I'm still going to show up in my workouts. I'm still going to show up in my business. And when you get ready to do something, like I'm your gal, right? I'm the girl you're going to come to because I was consistent in doing all of this. All right. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Like we have all got to set that goal of success of five this month. Um, and you can do it. It just takes being intentional being purposeful and being proactive instead of reactive. That is the name of the game, you guys. All right, so I hope this helps. If you have questions, let me know. Bye.